One, two. I've been playing around this town since all I had was a teenage frown. I've been playing around this town with the art scene all tied and bound. I've been playing around this town, dragging my gear through the muddy ground. The steeples toppled, the trees went down. I'm still playing around this town. Music is, is powerful. I can't imagine going through life without it. it it's just like a, a ocean of something good that washes over me every time I hear it or play it. I've played for, for heavy metal crowds. I've played for um, the Special Olympics. I've played for churches. I've played for old people. And it never fails to move people. When you can pick the right song and play it, make a little eye contact, that's magic, and it's, it's a blessed thing, and I'm very thankful to be a part of that. You can't separate the blues from hurt, and that's basically what the blues is, basically hurt. And to express it, you have to have that gut feeling. I mean, a low down gut feeling to get into it. And once you start it, you feel it, and you know where it's coming from. I guess Ice House used to have a slave saying, you can't sing the blues in an air conditioned building. It is so true. When you start sweating and you see the feel of perspiration running down, that's when it gets hot and you can really get with it. That's the blues. I create art because I want to add something beautiful to the world. I do art because it helps to heal. I want to share what I see. I want to celebrate what I see. I need to get my feelings out on canvas or with my hands. Uh, art can be transformative. Art can make a, a scene of tragedy into a comforting scene of beauty. Choosing art as a vocation actually taught me all the things that I needed to know as a human being. It brought up all my character problems too. I've, I've learned uh, how to make decisions. I was kind of a wishy-washy decision maker, but there's no getting out of making decisions. Um, there's an openness and a flexibility that are absolutely necessary to make an art, and they make for a better, for, for a better life, being open and flexible. There's some risk taking. It's also very important in growing as a person and growing as an artist. Good costume design in uh, motion pictures make a film better. It's one aspect of a film added to sets, uh, scenery, photography. You put all of those things together and you're painting a large picture with, with all kinds of paints and all kinds of colors showing all kinds of emotion. Art is a way of looking at the world through someone else's eyes for a minute. It, it gives you access to kind of someone else's soul in a way. You know, you, you see this story unfold or these characters go through, hopefully if it's a great place, some sort of transformation, some sort of journey from point A to point B, and it makes you think. It gives you something to think about. It gives you something to laugh uh, about or cry about. It's, I mean, there's, art is so necessary. It's so necessary in this world. I mean, we're inundated with images of, you know, abducted children and horrible things on the news and it's wonderful to go to a theater and have that experience. I mean it's so exciting when the lights go down and the curtain opens and the lights come up on the stage and there's this hopefully beautiful set to look at and then it becomes inhabited by these people. I, I always get a thrill when I, I love that first moment of looking at a set all lit up and you know it's great energy. It's very energizing. 
and hopefully if I'm doing my job, the audience, when I'm up there, the audience is, is energized and excited. Art is vitality. Art is essential. Art is joy. Art is the full range of human expression. I think the primary purpose of art is to keep the culture. You have to have some way of documenting or chronicling what is going on at a particular time. Now, of course, a lot of what we see in art is imaginative, um, but that's what life is. Life is what you imagine it. If you look at it more clinically, studies show that youth, children who are exposed to the arts, do so much better scholastically. They go on to achieve more, and, and so I, I'm not sure why that correlation is, I just know that it is. Art's a great educational tool for our youth because it allows them to be something they wouldn't ordinarily do in everyday life. It allows them to uh, build on confidences that they may not ever have the chance to do, whether they become the next Broadway star or the next speaker of the house or just a teacher standing before their students. It gives them that, that, that something that, that they can just speak without the fear of what they're saying being uh, scrutinized or criticized. Because when you're on stage, you can't think about what people are thinking. You have to think about what that act, that feeling is. Art's a great educational tool because the collaboration, the, uh, the family spirit that you get that you wouldn't ordinarily have, not just from your everyday life with your family, but people that you would never have an opportunity to spend that much time with, being able to learn and live and grow and create with them. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And it's things that I'm sure, whether the kids I've worked with uh, go on to do this, that they will never ever forget the time that they had backstage and on stage. Art is essential. Art is something we can't live without. Art is what shows us who we are. Art is the transformative quality in the universe. Art is transformation. Art is transcendence. Art is diving into the depths. Art is coasting on a thermal. Art is flying. I feel like as an artist, if you're not willing to go out on a limb, just forget about it. Uh, you have to, if you are speaking from any kind of truth that's within you, you're definitely going out on a limb. So, go. And actually, out on the limb, isn't that where the fruit is? Art is a great equalizer. Art knows no limits. Art is essential. Art is life. The thing is, if we were cut off from the world, we would have enough art in this town to survive and it would be the best stuff ever. We have some of the greatest musicians and a huge, huge variety of them and a big number of them right here. And, and we, are, we are lucky. If you just knew, compared to other towns, and I've been a lot of places, every other person here seems like they play something. And that's my family now. And, and I love them, I support them. I can't say enough about the musicians of the Cape of Fear. I would say for any young women now wanting to have a creative job, you do it because you have to. Of course, you don't do it for the money because that just doesn't happen usually. Um, but you have to follow your heart. You have to find someone who believes in your work, some kind of a role model, somebody who sees something really special in your work. Maybe just one or two people in your life, but people that you need and admire and respect who see something in your work and encourage you, keep you going. If they think they want to follow in my footsteps, if they think they want to go into costume designing, the advice I would give them is that they had, they need to care about it enough to work extremely hard through days of getting knocked down and not getting a job or working on a job that you think is, is not worth your time and effort. And if you're not willing to do that, you may as well forget it. 
because the uppermost, if you want a costume designer, do any of the jobs that are, that are involved in film, you have got to be willing to give your all. Your attitude has to be that you must give your all and you, you've got to, more than anything else, you've got to care and be willing to do it. Whether you want to do it, it hasn't got anything to do with whether you want to do at the moment. It has to do with what, what you want on the whole. Whatever it is that you want to do, do it. Do not let anybody knock you off your path. Do it. There's so many people that think, oh, I would love to do this, but they don't go after it for whatever reason, and, and you can, and you, you can succeed. It means doing play after play, take classes, go see movies, go see theater. It's gotta be in your head all the time. I, Wilmington is a, is a wonderful place for people to get started in a lot of ways. Audition all the time. Audition as much as you can. If you get yourself into a show, you're working, you're learning and you can audition for the studio here. You can audition for films. You can do all the independent film that you can. Look at yourself on screen and learn from that. My advice to young girls is learn everything you can. Be strong, walk where you wanna walk and wear what you wanna wear and don't ever be ruled by fear in this world. Stay in school. Be strong always follow your dream. Answer the question, what do I want, again and again and again with your actions. Learn to know what you want. I think as women that's one of the challenges is because we do override and we serve other people all the time. What do I want? Because that's what ultimately is going to serve everyone. If I'm happy, people around me are going to be happy. So learn to ask what you want, know what you want. Um, risk. Take risks. Risk is where you learn and there's nothing wrong with being a goofball, being goofy. <laughs> the words that come to mind thinking about young women, and women in general, not just young women, because we need to be our, each other's own best friend, and we're not always that to each other. Uh, and I gave this advice to my children as well. Uh, keep the people around you, make sure that they're passionate and compassionate people. Be impeccable with your word and don't ever settle. The thing I always want to tell young girls that I know is to, to not be afraid to, to be themselves, to express their ideas, basically. Um, there, you know, you can always improve upon yourself. There's nothing wrong with self-improvement. But don't be afraid to express your ideas. Anything that is coming from a true place within yourself may find opposition. Actually, let me say that anything true that comes out of you is going to find opposition. It doesn't matter how powerful the opposition is or how important the people are who might oppose you or who might poo-poo what you're doing. That's irrelevant. If it's coming from a true place, keep doing it. Don't, don't stop and don't be, don't be intimidated and don't be um, don't feel like someone else won't connect with what you have to say. I think that's one of the most important things that I have found as an artist is that some of the craziest thoughts that I have, some of the most abstract and to me um, uh, completely not able to be understood by anyone, those things, get them out there and you will realize that there are people who, who see what you're saying, who want to hear what you're saying, want to hear the way you have to say it, people who don't know how to say it themselves. Um, all the rest of the people who don't get it, who don't understand, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Speak your truth. Get it out. Pull it out and express it in the, in the best way that, that you know how to express something. You will have an ear. There will be an ear to hear you and connect with you.